most foreigners are mesmerized by how Japanese culture is full of paradoxes. Old, new, east, west, to cite a few. This art of blending paradoxes in harmony is certainly not recent. However, we can root some of it to the early 19th century when Japan first opened some of its ports to the West. The port of the city of Kobe was one of the first to open in 1868. Kobe, literally meaning the daughter divinity, was a very particular case. Here, the foreign settlements were not separate from Japanese homes. There was a unique land, multicultural land, that extended from Kobe to Osaka. This was a glorious era of roi de vivre, romanticism and creativity that defied the darkness of the Arab Wars. The area between Kobe and Osaka became so cosmopolitan and a melting pot of early foreign diplomats. World aristocracy fleeing wars, man of letters, refugeeing from the destructive 1923 Tokyo earthquake, and merchant families from then economically booming Osaka. They embraced both Japanese and Western traditions. Both they created what we know today as the Hanshinkan modernism culture. Classical music, Western suites were then introduced. Architecture, fashion, reflected this new blend with elegance and integrity. A prosperous lifestyle has emerged and still echoes today. Chocolate houses, piano schools, concert halls are still a part of the local culture. Some of the best Japanese literature and art were produced during that period. Novel Makyoka Sisters by Junichiro Tanizaki, the unique Ohara Ikebana style, are also a beautiful heritage from that period. At the mountainside of Kobe is the renowned Arima Onsen. Encircled by the three old imperial cities, Nara, Osaka, Kyoto, Arima Onsen is the oldest and most historic hot spring in Japan. But it is also the first to open its doors to the early foreigners. Here, romanticists found their hide where they say that the Ryukans and bathes in the golden thermal waters rich in iron and salt. At that time, Western-style facilities such as pools and billiard clubs were naturally blending with the traditional wooden buildings. Dancing halls and salons were also a part of the interior of the Ryukans and they still do even today. Today, even within the steepest traditional Japanese culture, one can witness this ongoing, effortless blend of paradoxes. Welcome to Arimonsen and welcome to Kobe.